Welcome to Two Doctors Homestead. My name is Daniel. And I'm Janet. And this is the 2023 Instapot collaboration hosted by Chris and Larry at Chris and Larry. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate um, you guys for coming to the video and watching our video. And we appreciate Chris and Larry for allowing us to be part of the collaboration. Absolutely. Right. So we're excited to excited to do this and, and make the video for you guys. And you can see maybe outside in the background, it's a cold, wet, you know, wintery Texas day. Yeah. So it's a perfect day to get the Instapot or the pressure cooker out and make some soup. Right. It's a good day for soup. It's a good day for soup. Because so why don't, you, why don't you tell them what we're going to make? Yes. Today we are going to make a creamy chicken soup. And we are not going to use any cream or milk to make the texture silky and creamy of our soup. That is a special ingredient. We're also going to use an old school pressure cooker that I use on the stovetop. I do not have an instant pot, right. but uh, you know, a pressure cooker is the pressure original instant, instant pot. It's an instant pot, right? right. Yeah. 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 This can easily be made in an instant pot. Mm -hmm. You just It'll just be easier for you. You just set the time and it just does it. Yeah. yeah. Instead of having to stand at the stove and, you know, watch for pressure and release pressure, which mm -hmm. really is not a big deal for me because, I mean, that's what I always use, so it just kind of sticks with it. what you know. Yeah. yeah it's what yeah. I know, so I just I keep with it. But it's really good soup. Yeah. It's Excellent. really yeah, it nice soup. soup. And for our keto friends out there, right. it is, it's a keto soup as well. Yeah. Because it does not, it doesn't have any starches or, or uh, you know, it's not heavy carb. It's very right. low carb. Carbs, low carb, low yes. sugar, and it tastes good. I don't usually eat a lot of soup. Yeah, it's delicious. I don't usually yeah. eat a lot of soup. He's not a soup, soup guy, but you did right. like this I soup. I did like the yeah. soup, right. So, um, did want to point out that there is a giveaway at the end of the collaboration. Mm -hmm. um, giving away a cutting board on February 17th. And that's at Chris and Larry on their channel. Um, it's going to be at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So if you've watched this video, um, obviously like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to give a list of all the other content creators that are in the collaboration. Watch their videos, like and subscribe. And then at the end, you've done that much. Go to February 17th for a chance to win a cutting board. All right, see if you get lucky. Right, absolutely. I'm sure it's going to be a really nice cutting board. Um, so we appreciate you coming to the channel, watching the video. Um, we're going to go ahead and show you all the ingredients that Jana used to, to make the, the soup and then watch her make it. All right, we're going to get into it. For our pressure cooker soup, you can see we have our stovetop pressure cooker, garlic, thyme, chives, bell pepper, lemons, white onion, celery, eggs, rice cauliflower, chicken broth, and approximately three pounds of chicken thighs. We'll begin to prep our vegetables. We'll start with four stalks of celery that we will dice. Here we're dicing one medium white onion. One bell pepper diced.
reset burner to high and cook on high for 10 minutes. Separate two eggs, the yolk from the white in two separate bowls. Pour the juice of three lemons into the egg yolks. Whip the separated egg whites to stiff peaks. Slowly incorporate the egg yolk and lemon juice into the egg whites. Add one cup of soup broth into the egg white mixture. 